I'm not gonna sell it to anybody. I'm gonna give it to every single orphanage in Latin America. Couple things today that we're jamming on. Number one, uh, Pride videos up. When will that be published, Nick? Okay, cool. So Pride videos live. I don't ask her, why don't you put the link to that? We're, I'm really proud of that. You guys did an awesome job with that. Um, great job editing, Oscar. Great job with the interviews, guys. Um, and and so super excited about that. Um, I want to do more of that kind of stuff. That that's the kind of stuff that really we're I think the direction the company's moving in. We're doing two, two, three, four minutes. That was the whole the whole idea of life in shorts at the, at the inception, which is kind of capturing an amazing movement or motion or thing or event in a couple of minutes. I think we did a good job with that. Um, so that'll be ready. We're going to do the same thing for Columbia Day Independ Columbia Independence Day. I need to sit with Nick today and go through the interviews because they're all in Spanish and we'll cut out the parts that we want to include. The B-roll I think is solid. And then the other thing that we're thinking about right now is when the month comes to a close and you guys aren't going to be available full time, we need to find new interns. We have a couple of leads, one with the intern group, which is kind of sh uh, firm up what that internship responsibility looks like. So if you're watching and you want to join the New York City office, hit us up. Got a lot of questions coming in. So Nick, at some point, maybe tomorrow, we should do a couple of different videos for the Q&A stuff that's coming in. Because we have like 10. We do it now? Okay. Um, there's a lot of things I want to do before that. So if we can, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny too. There's, there's a lot of stuff I want to finish this morning before that. Um, Magic Moment Monday is done in, in front of Madison Square Garden, which is cool. Spanish speaking reel. So we got to do Spanish. Let's do it all tomorrow. Spanish speaking reel and Q and A stuff. Mm, that's it. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. So they're fine. Let's, let's go to the Spanish reviews. Oh, that's our girl. So. So what's the best way to do this for you? So uh, just going to go do a client meeting uh, with the prospective client that we're pitching. going to be a great deal and we're going to just uh, hear what their vision is. Important thing for all you guys that are pitching clients, that are pitching proposals, take the time to figure out exactly what your client wants to do and what your client's vision is and then figure out how your proposal can align with that vision. So many people have this illusion that you create the proposal and then the client is all about it, just out of the blue gonna say, oh, that's exactly what I want. Instead, hear what they want and then craft something around that. It's just basic business 101 pitch magic. Let's go, guys. How are you? Doing terrifically. I've been miss I've been I've been missing yes. you. It says 23 minutes, so let's start. Alright, listen yeah. up, guys. Before you explain that to us, what would be really yeah. helpful, it was really helpful that you said that basically what you're trying to do is get people to you're driving driving signups for the clinical trials on the on the company side, right? On the on the Nasdaq side. Correct. And then Correct. on but but is that also true of the foundation side or what is your no, end result that you want there? Can you send me the three to four to five to 10 different messages that you really want communicated in this social media plan. Here's what we need from you guys. We need to know what we can say legally. And once we know what we can say, we can put together aesthetically what that would look like. That the only thing that we need right now is legally what we can say. Okay. Guys, we're super, super excited about this. All right, thank you guys very much. Okay. okay. Thanks guys. Bye. Hugs, hugs, hugs. So, I mean, th like, like, this is going to be big. This is going to be, if, if, if he actually can do all the things that he just said, like if we can get, we can get the to be on board with like the videos and the story, that's going to be huge.
So, um, the, the thing is, is that there was a lot of ideas thrown around. Basically, we don't have to do anything different than what we've done. All we have to do is understand what we can post. And then I think that you should actually make some mock-ups because these mock-ups are not, are not going to be good enough. The ones that we've done, like these, like maybe just do, or, or do you think they're good enough? I don't know. My design sense is not good. I, I'll trust you for that. But if, you, but if we need to do new ones, here, here's what I'm thinking. We wait until six o'clock. At six o'clock, they tell us what we can talk about, what we can't talk about. At that time, I think the proposal is, like, I don't think we're gonna need to do any changing of it except for the visuals. So six o'clock, they tell us what we can talk about. We make five to 10 mock-up images of what that would look like on a Facebook page and on an Instagram page and on a YouTube thumbnail and as a podcast cover, and that's it. What I wanna do is I want to, like you guys have been a case study for me this summer. How do you build out a fast, productive, real life 2017 digital agency with five people? And we've done that. And we're about to, we're gonna close some good deals, we're gonna be making money, we're gonna be actually growing, we're gonna be helping ourselves, right? If you can do that with five people in New York City, why can't you do it with five people in an orphanage in the Dominican Republic? And then why can't you do it with five people in a village in India? And then why, then, that's the first step. Cause you gotta, you gotta show that it works. Then what you do is you document that process and you turn it into an online training module. I'm not gonna sell it to anybody. I'm gonna give it to every single orphanage in Latin America. And I'm gonna say, here's what we did in the Dominican Republic with five to 10 to 15 to 20 students, or orphans. We turned this orphanage with, from 16 to 18 year olds into five to 10 people that ran social media campaigns and we'll track what that looks like for the local community, how many jobs that ended up creating, how many campaigns they ran, how much awareness, how many sales, how many, right? And then once we can prove that out, so we've proved it out in New York City, with you guys this summer, and we'll continue to prove that out. Like for me, running a digital media agency isn't the sexiest thing in the world, but it's the, it is the world right now. Like it is how people are going to make a living. It's the only way entrepreneurs are gonna be able to win. And so I wanna figure it out. So that's why you guys are here. That's why I decided, because listen, my life was a lot easier when I was just a speaker chilling, sleeping till 11, working whatever, like it was a lot easier. But I believe that what we're building here is going to be massively helpful for the world. I, and I don't wanna just be a speaker. I wanna like actually build things that help people, build things that help people, that build things that help people. So, when we can, when we, so we test this out. Thank you. We test this out here, it's working. Using my time, my money, our energy, our time, fine. Then we go to the Dominican Republic, which happens, will happen late 2017 or early 2018, right? Then we, then we do this thing in India, then we do this thing in Colombia, and before you know it, we have four different case studies, and then we start documenting that. And it's all this shit that I'm telling everyone to do all the time, because I'm seeing how much work is working for us. And then we turn those into training modules, and then we give those training modules to every orphanage in Latin America, then to every university in Delhi, and then we replicate that in Asia, and we replicate that. And before you know it, we are doing something really, really massive. And it just starts with a few people in a New York City we work. And for me, that is what is, that is the vision of all of this. So something that I wanna start doing when people come to us, clients come to us, is I want us, I want us to basically do an audit. So I want us to figure out, who is that, Anthony? Hello, senor. Hey, can I get you on the phone right now? Yeah, sure, hang on a second, let me put you on speaker. I love you, everything's amazing, it's going to be awesome. Love you too, okay, hang on, let me put you on speaker. So, uh, it's good to get this anyways. Hello? Hello? 
Hi. Solo quiero darte un beso. <laughs> yeah, you're on speakerphone with the team. Just, oh, just always assume if you call me during business hours, you're on speaker. <laughs> That was it, I think, right? And the other was just general branding aesthetic question, but that was the answer to that already. All right, cool. Okay, thank you, thank we're, you for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, we're super, we're super excited about this, man. Okay, me too. Peace. Thanks. Peace Bye -bye. and love. Bye. Peace and love. Cool. Okay, so busy day, as you can see, a lot of meetings, a lot of client proposals, a lot of. Uh, internal stuff, working on the website, working on recruiting a couple of new interns to the team, uh, a couple of new, one video, one marketing, uh, really kind of pushing for some new client stuff, just hearing what the clients need. Um, a little brigadero break, a little ping pong action, but for the most part it was business, business, business all day, heads down, hands in the dirt, real entrepreneur life stuff. Um, it's just if you want money coming through the door to keep the lights on, you gotta keep churning. So now we're off to an event up on 26 Broadway uh, for the intern group, a group that I'm a very proud advisor for and um, <clears throat> help them a lot with public speaking and branding stuff for their interns. They're supporting a cause around clean water in Nicaragua. So we're gonna be gladly, proudly supporting them. But really for me going to this event is about being there for the for the intern group I, I believe in them so much I love them as a company and um, sometimes you, you know at the end of a 12-hour day you got to go and schmooze for a couple of hours to show people that you have shown you love love back so I think that that's important find some time to delight your cl customers to delight the delight the people that you're in business with and so that's what we're gonna go do but uh, good day so let's go let's go let's go say what's up All right, so good events, lots of fun, lots of great connections with my man Brian Limbo, with Andy, intern group, all these amazing people, good raffle, good cause. Uh, just really believe in having good people around me and giving back to the people that I believe in most. So uh, it's been a good day, full day, nine o'clock, heading home, Oscar, have fun, good night.